Good morning guys, happy Saturday. We are starting off the day by doing a really big, exciting thing. Getting my nails done. If you guys have been watching the vlogs, like this is what I've been looking forward to this whole time I was moving in because I got my nails done the last time I, oh, it was like right after Ryan's graduation, right before we went to the beach. That was like June, I'm sorry, May like 3rd. And it's currently almost mid-June, so I've been going a long time with them, and they're very grown out. This is actually s, &S dip powder, so they're kind of like starting to chip um, on the sides, but that's just because I'm like biting them. I don't know where I'm going to go because I've never gone to a nail salon around here, so if you guys have any recommendations, if you are in Austin, if you have ever visited and got your nails done, um, any recommendations for like a more... Um, cheap place but like also close to like the south side of Austin please let me know because I'm not trying to like drive downtown and pay like a hundred bucks just to get my nails done no thank you but I'm excited I'm gonna have pretty nails I think I'm gonna ask for um, them to be rounded out usually I ask them to be squared but my nails are like long enough where I could do that like really pretty oval shape today's the day that Ryan's mom leaves so we're gonna drop her to the airport um, around like six or something like that but we are gonna try a barbecue place for the first time today so I kind of wanted to vlog it for that reason because I feel like that's such an Austin thing to do so I'm not really sure what the name of the place is but I know it's not the one that you wait in the line for because I don't think we're like ready for that especially like this time of the year in this heat mm -mm, don't think so maybe one day though and then later tonight we want to go out um, not sure where, again, a lot of unknowns, but I also posted a video last night, so please, if you guys are watching this video, go watch all of my other moving vlogs because it's going to be all up by, t by the time you see this video. So my empty apartment tour, my apartment hunting, my first impressions of Austin, I'll probably make a playlist of all my moving vlogs and put it down below, so go check that out. So last night, I was trying to buy this camera online on eBay and my payment wouldn't go through and then I tried doing it through PayPal. My payment wouldn't connect to PayPal and then I tried it on my laptop. It just gave me the same error and I was like, what the heck is going on? Like God does not want me to buy this camera. But it's funny because I already bought a camera and it wasn't the same camera and some shipping shit happened and literally took a whole month and I got a refund back because it's not at my house yet. So yeah, that was really, really sad because I was like so excited to play with it. So that time I got the Canon 6D Mark II, I think that's what it was. And um, yeah, so it never came to my house. So I had to deal with like USPS and they weren't getting me any information it's literally stuck in LA for some freaking reason it's stuck in LA and yeah so I didn't get any information on that still haven't like it's still a case that we're trying to figure out I guess but I ended up just reaching out to eBay and like they gave me a full refund like really really fast like I was actually pretty amazed um so you guys are probably like oh don't buy from eBay because obviously that happened to you but like every other time I've bought camera lenses I'm pretty sure I bought cameras on eBay nothing like that has ever happened to me so I'm gonna still keep buying from eBay because obviously they have a good um, policy so I thought this was God telling me that I didn't need the Canon 6D and that I needed the Sony a7 III I think um, so I got that camera and I'm really excited. It's supposed to be here June 20th or June 21st or something like that. The only thing that was like holding me back from that camera because I knew that was like the obvious winner because I was between those two. I'm sorry if I'm like geeking out on you right now if you don't know anything about cameras. But um, the only thing that was holding me back is that I have so many Canon lenses and I literally just bought a new one. And I didn't want to get rid of them and I didn't want to like sell those and get sony lenses because it just is a little expensive um so i found out that there's like an app adapter that you can use canon lenses on sony cameras so i decided to go for it and buy it i'm not sure how well it's gonna work so hopefully it works really really well because i'm a little nervous about that like i'm probably gonna have to buy like sony lenses down the road if i really want to make this my career you have to like kind of buy nat native lenses um but 
yeah so that's the update on my life I bought a new camera and I need to start making business cards because I need to get on my grind but I, I don't know I feel like I don't want my company to be smelly like Productions. so if you guys have any names out there that's like not a company name with my name in it let me know because that'd be great <laughs> it's almost 10 so I'm gonna call around to some nail places get the best price on my nails and then go there I'm on my way to a place called Lovely Nails. Hopefully they're good because they're, you know, pretty affordable. I'm driving right now and I honestly don't think I've driven yet. Maybe like once because Miss Brenda was driving my car this whole time and Ryan was driving his car this whole time so I didn't have to drive mine. I'm not realizing that Austin is like really hilly. At least in the area that we're living in, it's like randomly hilly and I'm coming from Orlando out of, right out of college so I mean, Orlando is like super flat, so it's just like weird that it's like super hilly. I mean, even in like Roswell, where I'm from, back home, it's not this hilly. My nails are freaking done. It literally took so long. It is currently 12.44. Not sure what time I went in there, but I'm thinking it was like around 10. Since it took so long, I have to meet Ryan and his mom at the barbecue place. We're going to get on the road and eat some food. I'm starving. It is almost 1 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything. So we are in the city and we're going to Lambert's Barbecue. Apparently we were supposed to go to Terry Black's, but the line was too long, so we're here in the city. Hey, it's me, Ryan. Hey, it's me, you, may, you may not recognize me, you got a haircut. Yeah, he did, finally, thank God. Aha uh ha. -huh. We are new people today. Got my nails done. He got his hair cut. We just finished lunch. Yeah, you can, I look fat. <laughs> Mind your business. What? So I look fat. Mind your business. We, <laughs> set, we just had some barbecue. Yeah. And I ate hers and my mom's brisket. Yep. It was good. I got this like hot link. It was like jalapeno sausage something. That was really good. But the brisket, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I feel like I thought there was going to be like barbecue sauce on it. I thought it was gonna be sweet. But you it say wasn't. if you need, well, I saw some YouTube video, but Jackson mm -hmm. said if you need barbecue sauce, then it's not good barbecue. Hmm. Anyways, we're here at Walmart. We need to get some stuff. I swear we've been here every single day since we've been here, like not even just apartment shopping. We even came before that. But yeah, we, what do we need from here? Are we going grocery shopping today? Mm getting groceries very important because we have literally nothing at the house we want to look for patio furniture I found this really nice um, like love seat on Walmart for like 200 bucks or something like that and I feel like it's worth it because we could put it in our living room for now since we don't have a couch and then we could just move it obviously on our pa patio um, when we get our real couch in our living room so we are gonna see if it is at this Walmart. If it's not, we'll just like look around and see what they have. When we were in the city, it's just so like different from Atlanta. It's just so cool to see like the culture down there. Cause it's like, everyone's like outside walking around. Like when we were passing by the lake, everyone was out and they were all like uh -huh. hiking and swimming and stuff. So it's really hey. cool. Okay, now we're looking for a TV mount. For my new TV. Well, damn, that was fast. This boy just said he's looking for the pulp orange juice. I don't know, guys. I might have to move back to Georgia. We just had vodka. Let's get this. So we just got back from our first grocery trip in the new apartment. We got a lot of basics and just other things. So I'm gonna put them away now. Remind me why I chose the third floor apartment. So we dropped Ryan's mom off at the airport. Unfortunately, her plane is delayed until 10. And we didn't find that out until she got there. So I guess she's just chilling there until her flight. But um, the airport's really small. Like it kind of reminds me of Orlando because Orlando's airport is pretty small. I mean, compared to Atlanta, of course. Um, I just did my hair. My hair's getting so long, I'm so happy. I mean, I just cut it, but I feel like <laughs> I've been looking at like so many pictures of my hair and it, when it was long, I was like getting sad. But we just got an Amazon package and I ordered a laundry hamper online. And this is what it looks like. It has like dark color light. 
because Ryan's very specific about his laundry. So I wanted him to like separate it so that if he's at work and I'm at home, I can just go ahead and do the laundry. So we're gonna find out how to set this up. So quick O-O-T-N outfit of the night. I have this um, t-shirt on that I got from Forever 21 last summer. It actually got softer over time, which is weird because it was like really stiff at first, but now it's like, I like it. And I was so close to getting rid of it. I was literally about to put it in the giveaway pile. And then I felt it after I washed it. I was like, what the heck? It was never this soft. So I'm gonna keep it. And then I paired it with these cool jeans. Um, I think I got these at Plato's Closet, I'm pretty sure. Kind of just gonna go for the minimal look today. Um, I have some gray mules that I'm gonna pair with it that I like never wear. Hopefully they're comfortable because we are going out our first night in Austin. So don't know how crazy it's gonna get. Don't know how much I'm gonna have to walk, but guess we'll find out today. It's currently almost seven o'clock and it doesn't look like seven, doesn't feel like seven. It's just weird. Like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm in a weird dream or something. It just doesn't even feel real. But anyways, it's seven. We're about to go pick up my friend Marisid. Marisid went to UCF with me and she was in KD, but then she dropped. So we were really good friends um, and still are. So I'm really excited that she moved to Austin too. Um, and we're going to pick her up. We're going to go to the liquor store, get some goods. We already have like rum. And Ryan bought like this random like margarita stuff that's mixed with alcohol already last night from H-E-B I think But I want to get like tequila and like just kind of like stock up because we don't really have much here I literally only have rum I think I also just want to buy a bar cart But we just splurged on so many items like I bought a couch. I just bought a TV. I just bought patio furniture and Yeah so there's just so many things that we still have to buy. I feel like bar cart is definitely the last on the list because that's not like a, you know, requirement of this household. Trying new things. Yeah. Yeah. Texas Ranger. Should I get Texas Ranger? This is Marison. Hi. We're picking a drink. He's not actually this much taller than me. How tall are you? Yeah, I am. Are you? I'm six foot five. Where's it? I was like, wait. Warriors. <laughs> wait. She's wearing heels. So the sales guy at the liquor store sold us on this four dollar wine. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Do you like it? I know. It's okay. I know it's not the best, but hey, it's four dollars. So then we got what do we got, Ryan? Your scary ass red alcohol. And, red I was like red M shit. <laughs> and then yeah. oh. the Kraken. And I got this. Then this is the random margarita mix that he bought with alcohol Did already in it. Is this the Kraken thing with the Coke? Yeah, you want some acid? No. Just wondering. This is how it's the game. They call it huge. Yeah, I have like juice. Yeah, that's what you guys This is the perfect size bowl. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we did we did uh Lambert's barbecue. Uh, that was really good. Mm -hmm. We had four cheese. Slightly like that building, it's just like I don't know. Oh, it's just 21. next day and we kind of wanted to give like our opinions on the downtown scene and just like 6th street and kind of compare it to both of our college going out scenes we didn't really go into that many bars um so we kind of just saw it from the outside plus it was bike week yeah, and there was, was really weird. seriously so many freaking motorcycles on the street and like the streets were blocked off and stuff like that so it was 
you know, an interesting night to go out on. <laughs> but we did end up going to a really, like, nice hotel balcony bar. Yeah. And that was, like, kind of calm and relaxing. Yeah. And that was more fun than an actual, like, party scene. We also went to Caroline's, and that was really cute. And yeah. there were a lot of young people, like, literally pretty like much Carmel our age. Carmel and Deck 4. Yeah. R.I.P. Emerson. Very interactive bar. Yeah, um, it was fun. But, like... There were kind of like the bars that looked like UGA, and yeah, then there were the bars. Athens, like big Athens. Yeah, it definitely looked like a big Athens, but then there are the prices are not the same as Athens. Way more money, mm -hmm. unfortunately. If you go to UCF and you graduate from UCF and you go out at UCF and then you go out after UCF, oh my god, like we get. I mean, you pay cover at UCF, but it's so worth it because you get free drinks until like twelve. And, I mean, sometimes you don't even have to pay cover, because, like, with Zup, you can get free cover, and other ways you can get free cover, but, um, yeah, so it's very, like, what's it called? Like, a culture shock? Or not even a culture shock, like, just a real-world shock, like, damn, I really have to pay $10 yeah. for a drink, like, that is insane to me. It's pretty good. Yeah. Recommend. And that's what we tried to do, but then I just kind of, like, it faded, like when we got there. Yeah, I mean, it was really cool. I definitely want to go back out on 6th Street. Yeah, when it's us. When yeah, it's not bike week. Not bike week because it was like crazy how many people there were. So I'm actually interested to see how many people actually go out on a Saturday in downtown Austin. I want to see know? like a Texas game day, really. I don't. Fun. I think that's going to be very scary. <laughs> but yeah, also fun. Um, I did buy patio furniture yesterday, so it's going to be here on June 24th. And we're gonna use that as our temporary couch so we can get rid of this smooth bag in here. And then, <laughs> um, what else? What else? Our birthday is on Thursday. Yeah. yeah we have some presents. <laughs> oh, yeah? How about just a happy birthday message? It's fine. Don't okay. happy birthday if you let me. <laughs> let me watch. Yeah, so we're gonna plan some big, big things for his birthday. I think we wanna go like kayaking in one of the lakes or rivers or whatever the bodies of water are here. One, two. Alan's boots, of course, is a pretty famous place and everything. And I'm looking for a pair of boots to wear to work and just around. Oh my god, work? Yeah, the guy who just at Banks told me that's like very, very common to wear cowboy boots in a suit. Oh god. And he was like, you know, everyone wanted to trust me. I was like, sure. <laughs> I just wanted a pair of like. Watch you like roll up to Oracle the first day. Like, yeah. Cowboy. This is a cool place though. I already got me some cowboy boots. Look at these sparklies. I got cowboy boots in high school because I'm pretty sure it was like country day and I was like, I want cowboy boots. So I got cowboy boots in high school, not knowing I was going to move to Texas. I'm gonna give me a dollar so I can get a pair of these. <laughs> Let me see them. Crazy. I mean, they're, nice. they're really cool. Is this an alligator or a snake? What is this?